Hey guys, Trent here from How To Haven, back again with another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how you can fix a black preview screen in Sony Vegas, any version. I'm on an older one, but it doesn't matter. It'll work for all of them. And I just want to ask today if this does help you, please consider leaving a super like. It helps me so much, but let's get right into it. First, we're going to insert a video track. I don't have one, and you want to make sure you don't have this solo button enabled on whatever project you're working on. If you've accidentally clicked this or hit a button, it might have enabled it and hidden your track, so just make sure this is not enabled on your video track. But let's assume that doesn't work. What you want to do is go to your video preview screen over here, hold or right click, hold shift, and then hit video preview preferences. You have to be holding shift. Otherwise, you're not going to get this internal tab as an option. So once you get this open, you want to hit internal, and you'll get all these things here. And you'll have a box down here, and you're going to want to search open CL. Right? And now you're going to have a ton of options. And you want to find open CL memory size filter. Now, on yours, the default is going to be 384, like that, right? So what you want to do is change it to something else. Now. You want to make sure you, you're basically putting it as high as you can handle um, within reason. You don't have to go crazy. So I put 4,000, uh, hit apply. If you want, you could go over here and it'll show you all the RAM you have available. Um, just to give you an idea, but make sure you're at 4,000 is a good place for most people. Hit apply, hit OK, and then restart your Vegas and it should fix the problem. Anyways guys, if this video helped you out, drop a like, leave a comment, you know what to do. Peace.